Uh, so what you see is by writing this, that this actually solves this equation. If you write B in this way, this is always satisfied. And so you can express B that way. And that is a useful way uh, to, to, uh, to, to do that. And, but it is not a unique. If you replace by A goes to A plus, say, the gradient of a lambda, lambda as a function, then uh, B, that is the curl of A now, the curl of uh, A, and there's an additional term, uh, the curl of the gradient, sorry, what do I do? Uh, do you say it wrong? Um, the curl of the gradient of lambda? I think so. Hmm? I think it's the curl of the gradient of lambda. Yeah, so it's the curl of the gradient of lambda. Yeah, that's okay. okay. And now, what is the length of this? This is the length of A times the length of B times this, sorry, this is uh, theta times the sine of uh, theta. Yes. So if they are parallel, if if so so a if they are parallel it will simply be zero exactly so this is zero and here you see now two the same vectors so this is equal to zero ah. so you see when you add this to a it actually remains the same and and although it looks like this is a function of a three 